hello everyone welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to learn how to install and how to like uh, getting like download the software of pycharm ide which is an integrated device environment like a uh, where the environment will give you to code editor like uh, writing the code using python we have a uh, you we need to use some ide's like notepad or word document this way to write a code like a pycharm ide will help you more and more so let's see how to get the software and how to install before going to that the pycharm ide we are going to choosing like community center edition why we are choosing for community center edition means it's absolutely free for beginners who are learners in python and making large scale applications it will perfectly suits for you so let's begin the session open any browser and just type google inside the google just type pycharm ide so you will get uh, get download here so click on the download pycharm directly you can get it so here you will see like a professional as well as the community so we are choosing for community center edition and also i i would like i would like to request you to according to your operating system it might be windows mac os or linux operating system which version of operating system you require you choose the operating system and go for the community center download and here why i am choosing for community means it's absolutely free and open source so for learning purpose this is most enough if you are need and if you are willing to take like professional edition it's a completely like a you have to pay some like a, a minimum of amount for the license go for it for professional if you need there is a lot of absolutely like a, there is a futures more on professional edition you may go here and check with the uh, like a website of uh, official website is there no like jetbrains.com there you can check with the your uh, more details regarding professional edition so here i am choosing windows community center edition click here to download so thank you for choosing the download the download is initiated here once like it's almost it's around uh, 359 mb of capacity the file is there so it's a uh, quickly it is downloading once if the download is not automatically started in your computer system so what you need to do you can simply your download see it's a student start shortly you can choose a, like a direct link is also there you click the link the download is um, mandatory it will be initiate the download like a software downloading process so let's begin like once it is done we are going to be installing the steps of uh, like uh, this software like um, for an, for your information jetbrains still supports most of the programming languages not only the python also you may check it here developer tools and uh, solutions so many things see once you go for developer tools id is for app code click on data spell fleet this all are intel idea j and uh, rider ruby plugins so many so many programming languages uh, like uh, these uh, jetbrains uh, uh, pycharm will supports very perfectly okay yes let's see here our download is completed either double click or right click and open the file either double click to open the file or right click and open security question it will ask you user control click s yes. now the setup is launching here now see welcome to the pycharm community center edition so click next the default destination folder where it should go and install the software let it be the same click next and here you have to check the all the check boxes these check boxes will help you like a uh, first one is creating desktop shortcut if if not require you use just to skip this step and the second one is update context of the menu of uh, open folder as a project and uh, creating association of uh, python file with dot py extension it's a mandatorily you have to choose otherwise it uh, like computer doesn't understand what type of file it is and update the path variable as well as for pycharm also so add this checkbox also okay and i have a i am taking like a desktop icon also if not required later i'll delete it okay so click next 
so this is the JetBrains path also library is going to be adding in the menu folder so let it be click install now see the icon is going to be added here and the installation procedure for extracting the file of 90% is completed show the details you will get all what happening inside the installation procedure so it may take how the python installation is taken like a few seconds it depends upon like all it depends upon your system performance it uh, depends on memory or computer uh, storage and uh, processor speed all with the combination it will be installs very quickly and similarly it will be runs and execute the python programs as well recommended memory and uh, recommended systems are at least like um, two core processor and uh, at least 4 gb to 8 gb is a memory and 100 gb of space from your hard disk storage is recommended to install python as well as pycharm softwares to in your computer system and uh, like why we require this uh, configuration is like uh, to write a program and to compile when you are you are running it will take more memory as well as more processor consumptions so if you are having better and best configuration system you will get uh, less time the compilation is less time and you will write more programs and uh, more outputs very quickly you will get so let's see we are at almost reaching till end once it is completed it will ask you like uh, restart now or else it's not uh, I want to manually reboot later yes I'm choosing I want to restart manually later finish so you may check it when you button press start button pycharm community edition here it is displaying so in like id le python means it's a python installation so successfully we are installed python as well as pycharm ide which will help us to write the python program so next lecture we jump start to create a pycharm ide to creating new project environment don't miss it out. Catch you. Thank you.